here we're going to learn how to use the board cutter. Okay, it's not terribly complicated, um, but you are going to need to know how to use it. Okay, so this is the same board that I cut my square edge. This is my square edge. Okay, I want to do all of my measurements from that edge. Okay, and so I'm going to first cut, I'm going to make one cut and cut the width of my boards. I'm going to have two boards that are going to go here and here. I'm going to lift this up so I can get my board through. So this width is 16 centimeters. It just happens to be an even number. You take the guide, if it's off, slide it on and lock it down by turning this little screw right here. It's not, it's not, it doesn't make it immobile. It's really just meant to serve as a guide to know where you should stop. Okay, and if you feel more comfortable cutting your square edge again, Loving how that was looking. I'm going to take this and just shear off a little bit. Probably, there's probably about a quarter of an inch, not even an eighth of an inch. So I'm abutting it up to this. One more time. Okay, so you push the handle down and that locks it in place. Keep your hand out of the way. Okay, so now I know that I've got this nice crisp edge to work from. Okay, always make sure that the, that the board is abutting this. Don't have it abut the, the, the guide because the guide doesn't always sit level. You just need the very bottom to be at the measurement that you need it. Okay, so if I align this with the guide, I'm pretty skewed here. Might be hard to tell, but there's a little bit of space there. And so just make sure that the very corner is exactly where you, where you need it to be at 16 for me. Okay, so I'm gonna hold it down and push. My other measurement needs to be 24.6. So now I'm gonna move this out to 24.6 and set it. I have to make two of these cuts, so I did my first, um, I did my first cut and now I'm going to do the other two instead of having to cut everything twice. So I'm trying to minimize the amount of cuts that I need to make. One. And So it seems a lot easier, but it is, it's, it's got nuances. Um, and they should be exactly the same size. Any scraps you need to get out of there. So there's this little, um, where the blade is, there's a little catcher here. And so you wanna make sure that you get your scraps out of that catcher. If the board table gets full of scraps, if it's a scrap this big, then it goes in the scrap box. If it's a scrap that's this big, it just goes in recycling. This one could be a spacer if it was um, cut down a little bit. You want to make a spacer, you can just take about eighth of an inch off of that one. Sorry, quarter of an inch off of that. And then you've got a, a nice, decent spacer. Okay, so know what to recycle. Never leave the, the blade handle up. The blade handle is always goes down. If board starts to get piled up outside of the board cutter, I will take the board cutters away and you'll have to cut everything by hand. 